Since day one at the Daryl Barrier Collection, the team has just arrived and they're taking in all the sights. Daryl had great taste and was a master restorer. The collection has several restored vintage tractors, including a complete set of John Deere 30 series tractors. There's also vintage signs, dealership clocks, farm toys, and vintage pedal tractors. Daryl's son is working with Almond Auctions to sell his father's collection. He spent days getting the tractors ready for photographing and for taking videos. All of the tractors have fresh gas and new batteries. But today, the team's not working on classic tractors. They'll be cataloging pedal tractors. There's an entire room dedicated to Daryl's pedal tractor collection. The room is stacked from floor to ceiling with all makes and models. The team needs to get all of these pedal tractors cataloged today, so they have plenty of time for the rest of the collection. We said split the two groups, we're just gonna, all five of us are gonna come in. You know, that way we've got one, one guy on camera, one guy cataloging, and then the rest of them take it down. So mm -hmm. move it. That'd be the hardest thing. So is this for your thousand dollar pedal tractors and fall on the ground? Mm -hmm. We know how you are with woodwork. Watch your fingers. Never ends with figuring out the best way to catalog. On location photo shoot? Yeah, yeah. When you can't take all your uh, equipment from home with you, you always have to figure stuff out like this to where uh, make your job easy, as easy as possible. So, I think we've got it figured out now. But Shannon's probably photographed a thousand pedal tractors at this point, right? I would say more than a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> probably a lot more than a thousand. Back her in the shed. Hell of a lot easier than real tractors, isn't it? Yeah. The team needs to get all of these pedal tractors cataloged today, so they have plenty of time for the rest of the collection. Since there's no place to store the pedal tractors, they have to take them off the shelf, photograph them, and then put them back where they came. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, Alex plays Sudoku. <laughs> I am working on my chest right now. What are you having to do, Doug? I'm having to cut the bailing wire. They're all tied down up here to keep them from rolling off. They're all tied pretty tight. That yeah, will yeah, be all yeah, the we, yeah, we can just knock out the red ones down there. Yeah. yeah. Maybe just do, yeah. maybe catch all those and then, right. then we'll go oh, yeah, up sure. and just yeah. do a wall at a time. So is this your 200th pedal? This, this would be about my 225th. So is this the rare one or the super rare one? This super is rare. super rare. Oh, this is one of the, they sold one of these on Fisher. This is 1997 Custom oh, Gene see. Gregory. One interesting piece is a scale model of a John Deere mail wagon. These wagons were given to dealers in 1996 to commemorate 100 years of the John Deere company. We 
weaving through the maze of garden tractors. Yes, without dropping it. It's like playing Frogger, but different. <laughs> One more. Last pedal? Well, that's a simple pedal. We got two in boxes, and then we got a dozen wagons. The Almond team was able to finish the pedal tractors in less than a day. But they only have two days left to catalog all of the vintage signs, memorabilia, clocks, toys, and tractors.